Welcome to Valances.com. Today we'd like to show you the Metla Toledo JL602. The balance comes in a gorgeous box and we're going to open it up and show you what's inside. Metler packages this balance extremely nice. Balance comes with a manual. We have here this is a windshield weigh-in platform, pan support. Cover here. These JL602s now come with calibration weights. We have two 100 gram calibration weights. They're stainless steel. There's no certification whatsoever. The balance comes with an AC adapter. Nice foam supporting the balance in transit. You got a star little plastic bag. And we have the balance, and you'll notice this yellow piece of paper. This yellow piece of paper is critical for you to be able to operate the balance. This is an amendment to their manual. It explains how to calibrate the balance and put the balance into service. So, we'll first start with uh, showing you some of the features of the JL602. The JL602 has a nice large LCD display, simple four button operation. The scale has two adjustable feet, so you can level the balance. Another huge selling point is the balance operates on four AA batteries. So you can go to any store, buy alkaline batteries, stick them in there. You don't have to buy any special uh, NICAD battery pack or anything like that. The balance offers uh, this little bracket here in the back. If you're a school, you wanted to put a, a master lock cable through. You would put it right through here so it has a lockdown function. Uh, the balance on the side has the markings. The model number JL602G slash LA00. The balance is legal for trade. It is a class 2 balance. That's what that II with a circle around means. It's a class 2 balance. It has 610 gram weighing capacity. It reads division wise 0 0.1 gram. E means approved. So it's approved in legal for trade mode to 0 0.1 gram. The balance has uh, typically you, you can buy an optional RS232 interface. It's a factory install. This gets punched out for the RS232. And there's a little tiny uh, port here, a little tiny hole. We'll be talking about this later. This is the service mode where there's a button in there and you can't see it no matter what, but there's a little tiny button in there we have to press to put this balance into the service mode. So let's plug this scale in and take a look at it and see how it runs. Oh, so we have an AC adapter. Oh, we're going to talk about this AC adapter. We get some phone calls in regards to it. People have a problem with the balance. Uh, Metla Toledo has a universal AC adapter and basically the uh, receptacle head comes off and you have to make sure that these contacts here are touching these contacts in the back otherwise your scale is not going to run off of the AC power so this slides down and you'll hear it click and you got to be positive that this is in we've had many phone calls from people saying the AC adapter doesn't work and there's nothing wrong with the AC adapter so you you need to make sure if there's ever an issue that you just press this button and the head comes out. So you slide this down and it clicks right in. And you gotta make sure it's in the channel. So anyways, we'll keep on moving along. <clears throat> so we're gonna plug this in in the AC adapter port. Now the metler comes with this cap so we don't damage the load cell. The way this is set up, we have our pan support first that goes on. We have our weighing pan which goes on and then this is what we call a windshield it allows the balance to operate a lot better so no wind goes underneath the platform turning the balance on you can see all the LCD segments illuminate shows the software revision 1.2 and notice here on the right hand side the last decimal place is bots that's a bots and what that bots means is the balance can display to two decimal places, but that last decimal place is boxed because it's not legal for trade there. It's legal for trade only to a tenth of a gram. 
Many states allow you to read to two decimal place. Um, so we just want to make sure you understand that this balance is legal for trade, but it's really legal for trade to a tenth of a gram, though the display shows two decimal places. So the balance comes with two 100 gram stainless steel weights. Stick these on the balance, and we'll see what this balance looks like. So we have basically 200 grams is showing up as 199.93 grams. So it's off by 0 0.07 grams. So there's nothing wrong with the balance. The problem is everywhere in the world is a different magnetic north. So you need to calibrate the balance every time a balance is put into service. This becomes a little issue with Toledo on the JL602. It's pretty complicated. And we're going to go through that hopefully real quickly. So we'll take these weights off. And in order to do the calibration, one of the things with legal for trade is the balance is locked out, so you can't do the calibration. So you notice this button says cal. And if we press it, nothing happens. We can't get into the cal mode. And that's because it's locked out. So we need to get the balance into the non-legal for trade mode. And this yellow piece of paper has all the steps. One, two, three, four, five. If you're not technically savvy, if you cannot follow instructions, we do not recommend this balance for you. Um, if you have any issues, uh, if you want to call Met with Toledo, Mettler's response is, we can send out a technician, they're going to charge $300, this is all your responsibility. These balances work great, but they are very complicated, in our opinion, to um, operate. So please take that into consideration. So, we're going to go to the back of this little port that we talked about. First thing we have to do is shut off the balance. And we have a little screwdriver here that we're going to go in and press that button in the rear. And we need to hold that button in place in the back. And we're going to see service come up on this LCD display. And there it is. So the service mode is there. And it shows you the software revision. So again, we just need to follow these steps here. Uh, we need to get the balance out of the legal for trade mode. And we need to put it into the non-legal for trade mode. So... Basically, what we have to do is hold down the menu key, the right-hand button, until we see M-E-T-R-O-L, and then release. It says A-P-P-R. That stands for approve. We need to get the balance into the non-approved mode. That's accomplished by pressing the F key. Notice now it's changed to N-O, meaning non-approved mode. We have to store it. Store it is by holding the menu key down, and then you'll see store ED. So now we have the balance stored. The next thing we have to do is, in order to do the calibration, <clears throat> we have to set up the balance for the correct calibration weight. So, if we went into uh, the cal mode, we would see that the calibration weight, uh, the default, I believe, is 500 on these, but we'll see. Let's see. So, yeah, there you go. The default from Metlitolito from the factory is 500 grams. The weird thing is, they give us two 100 gram weights. Um, our only explanation would be cost savings. That's why they do it. But we'll set it up for you. So we'll, we'll show you the steps that we can change this. So in order to change the calibration from 500 grams, we need to change it to 200. That's accomplished by pressing the F key here. We press it once, it shows 600. Now we're at 200. We'll just go on 300, 400, 500, 600. Now we're back to 200. So we have two 100 gram weights. We want to calibrate it with a 200 grams. So we need to store it again simply by pressing the menu key and holding it down. And there we have it stored. So now we've configured the balance so that it is in non-legal for trade mode and that we can calibrate it with 200 grams. So now what we need to do is shut off the balance. The center button holding it down will shut the balance off. The balance is now off. We'll power up the balance. And you'll notice this last sentiment here, or the last digit here on the right, before, if you remember, it was bots. Now it's not bots. So that tells, it, that tells anyone that the scale is not in legal for trade mode. 
And if we put these weights on again, we notice the scale is still off by 0 0.07 grams. So now all we have to do is press the cow button and we get to press and hold it and it shows 200 grams. And you simply put on the 200 gram weight, the two 100 gram weights on the platform. Now the scale shows zero. Take the two weights off. The scale is now storing that value and it says cal done. So the calibration has been completed. We'll put the weights back on the balance and notice the scale is right on the money. And again, 0 0.01, that's the tolerance of the scale. It's right on the money. So now we have, a, we have to put this scale back into the legal for trade mode. If you are using this for an application like weighing jewelry, silver, um, herbs, anything that you're selling by weight and, you, and you're required for a legal for trade mode. So to do that, we have to shut off the balance again. Balance is off. We need to go in the back again by pressing that little service button way in the back, holding it down until we see the word service, and there it is. Pressing our menu key again once it powers up. So we press and hold the menu key until we see M E T R O L. There it is. Notice it says N N O. APPR. We need to change this to the approved mode, so we'll hit the F key. Now we have APPR. It's now in the approved mode. We need to store it. It says store ED. Now it's, now it's been stored, so now we have it in the legal for trade mode. All we need to do is shut off the balance. Balance is off. Turn the balance back on. And notice again, the last decimal place has a box, and we now have this scale in the legal for trade mode. We put the weights on. There's 100. There's 200. It's right on the money. So the scale is ready for use. Again, we want to stress that this scale is kind of complicated to do the calibration and follow the instructions. It's critical, this yellow piece of paper, that you never, ever, ever lose it because these are the steps to follow. And again, if you're not technically savvy and follow instructions, we do not recommend this product for you. Because if you have to call Matler, be prepared. Their response is to send out a technician and you will be billed $300. Thank you very much. The JL602 is available at balances.com.